Hi everyone, uh, it's a very brief explanation on how to find the area of a trapezium. Um, so you may want to press pause uh, so that you can copy down the learning objective and copy down the example. Okay, so we've got a trapezium here. Uh, it's a trapezium because it's got one pair of parallel lines um, and we need to find the area of it. We know that this height uh, is six centimetres. I don't mind, I don't really care about what length this uh, diagonal line is, but uh, obviously I need to know the base uh, here and this length up here at the top as well. And it works a little bit like this. Um, I need to imagine that if I was to chop off this corner here, this triangle, I could pick it up and twist it round and it would fit in that slot there. And I can actually do the same, you see, chopping off there and putting it in that corner there. I can actually do the same thing this side. If I was to chop off this corner here, I could then flip it round and put it in that space there. And so if you look at the red lines there, what you've actually got is a rectangle. Now the height of the rectangle is six centimetres, but I need to know the base of the rectangle. And what's happened is that this line on the base has come in a little bit and the line on the top, the length, has gone out a little bit. And what's actually happened is that it's gone, it's met part way in the middle between the 12 and the 8. So we're actually looking for the average of those two lengths, uh, the top and the bottom length. So the way I can work that out is if I add them together, the 8 plus the 12, and then I divide that by 2 to find the average of those two lengths. So 8 divided by 12, uh, sorry, uh, 8 add 12 is 20, divided by 2 is 10. Okay, so I now know that this length of this red uh, rectangle is 10 centimetres. And so if I look at the red rectangle now, I know it's 10 centimetres uh, length, the base, and it's height 6 centimetres. So all I now need to do is 10 times 6. So 10 times 6 is 60, and it's centimetres squared because it's area. So let's do another one just quickly. Um, so this time I'm going to imagine that I've got um, a length here of, um, let's say, 9 centimetres, and this length perhaps 6 centimetres, and this length here, or the height here rather, to be 5 centimetres. So my first job is to find the average of these two lengths, and the way I can do that is do 9 add 6, uh, that's 15, and then I'm going to do 15 divided by 2, and that gives me 7.5. So I now know that if I was going for a rectangle here, it would be 7.5 in length. Okay, 7.5. So my rectangle would now look like this. It would be 7.5 and the height would still be 5. So I now need to do 7.5 times 5. For the calculator, 7.5 times 5 is 37.5 centimetres squared. Okay, so, right, um, I'd like you to have a go at some now yourself. Um, I'm going to turn over to the page, and so there are three questions there, very quickly to have a go at. The trapeziums are in different orientations, um, but yeah, so if you press pause and have a go at those. Okay, so just to go through some answers now, hopefully you've had a go at all those, um, I would do this. Um, 
The first one should be reasonably straightforward. I think if I, I find the average of 5 and 7, I think that's going to be 6. So actually here I'm just going to have 6 times 4, and that's 24 centimetres squared. That should be the answer for the first one. Over on the next one up here, um, it doesn't matter. I don't need to know that that length there is 5.7. That's not a problem. What I do need to do is find the average of 5.7 and 7.3. Well, I think 5.7 7.3, I think that's 13 centimetres. So divide that by 2. 13 divided by 2, that's 6.5. That's the average length there. So I need to do um, 6.5 times 5 and that is going to be 32.5 centimetres squared. And finally down here, um, same sort of idea. It almost looks like a, a parallelogram here, but it's not quite. Um, so I need to find the average of these. So I'm going to add them together, 6.2, 7.8. That is uh, 14. Um, yep, so I need to do 14 divided by 2 is 7. So that average height now is now, uh, average length is 7, so now I'm doing 7 times the height, 7 times 5 is 35 centimetres squared. Okay, so hopefully you now know how to find the area of a trapezium.